precious hands. Oh, hallelujah. And it was for me on Calvary. His blood so freely ran. Now, I love this part, Brother Billy. Amazing grace. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved the sinner's soul. And Jesus, you mean more to me. <laughs> oh, I can't get that out of my spirit, amen to God. Then all this world holds, amen? Amen. Just think about those words for a minute. It was my sins that put those stars. See, hallelujah to God, Jesus was sinless, amen? Come on. Jesus Come on. wasn't a sinner. Jesus didn't need praise God. He didn't have to die for anything. He didn't have to do what He did, but He did it because He loved you and me and the entire mankind. Come on. Jesus loves us so much, He went the extra mile and then some amen. at the cross. You said, Brother Mike, you're talking about the cross. Well, amen to God, what more do we need to talk about? It's at the cross, amen to God. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the lights. Glory to God. How many knows that's true? And the burdens of my heart were rolled away. It was there by Come faith. On. I received my sight. Talking about that sight, amen to God, where God yeah. opened your eyes like He did Paul, amen, amen to God. And now I'm happy all the day. Come on. If you're saved, if you're happy, and you know it, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Go with me in your Bibles this morning to Philippians chapter 4. Hallelujah. The Lord laid, laid this thought in my spirit this past week. And I tell you, I've been wrestling with it. The devil didn't want me to present it, but I don't care what the devil says. Amen to God. He's a defeated has-been. Amen to God. Come on. Yeah. Glory to God. It stays under our feet. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I pray that my feet stink. Amen to God. So he has to smell them. <laughs> Amen. Is that all right? That'll keep you. Now that, now praise God, that wouldn't be accepted in your big modern uh, proper churches. But amen Come to God. On. Hallelujah. I never said I was proper. Amen to God. I'm a Holy Ghost filled believer, praise God. I'm going to tell it the way it is. Just like Brother Billy and Brother Salise and everybody here. Amen to God. I'm Come excited on. about it. And now, is it okay if I preach Jesus today? Is that all right? Amen. Can I still talk about the blood? Yeah. Is that okay? Can I still Come talk on. about speaking in tongues? Come on. Amen yeah. to God. Is that all right? Can I still preach that God is? Come on. Amen. That when we get down to nothing, God is up to something. Amen Come on, God. Man. Is yeah. that all right? That, praise God, the king still has one more move. Come on. Y'all know that? Amen to God. That God will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Come on. That God is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited about it. I'll tell you. Russ Lee, i got to tell you, man, you're a blessing to me. Amen to God. You, you don't realize that I, I, get, I get tickled and blessed by things you say. And boy, I, I use them a lot. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm very mobile. I, I tell people, some co-workers and stuff, I tell them some things you say. Mm -hmm. Amen to God. And they get tickled. They say, we got to come down there with you one of these Sundays and meet Brother Billy and Brother Salise and come Brother on. Rodney and everybody. I said, yeah, I praise God. I said, when you come, you won't leave the same way. Come on. Come on now, you're going to leave different. Praise God. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4, beginning in verse 6 and 7. And this is a commonly used uh, passage of Scripture, but there's power. There's, oh man, there's a great text in here. Praise God. It says, Be careful for nothing. Woo! Glory. But in everything, the good things, Come on. the bad things, yeah. All things, All things, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Well, see, amen to God, a lot of people want to cut that thanksgiving part out. Come on. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. God wants to know what's going on with you, amen? Come on. God cares, amen? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Let your requests be made known to God. See, hallelujah, God knows what you're going through, but He wants you to talk to Him. Amen right. to God. You Come still on. need to have a relationship with Him. Right. You just don't Amen. need to have one just on Sunday mornings, Amen to God, or on Tuesday nights or whenever Come day of the week you, you go to service, Amen to God. You need to talk to Him 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Come on. You need to read His love letter to you, if you will. Mm -hmm. You need to see how much He cares about you. And on top of that, he said, your faith is going to increase when you read the Word. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by what? The Word of God. Word of God. Yeah. And it said, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding. 
How many has ever been going through something and God give you peace in your spirit? Oh, that man, the world can't comprehend. No drug that a psychiatrist gives you can make you as peaceful as that peace that Jesus gives. Amen. Oh. God, the peace that passes all understanding. The peace your carnal mind can't grasp the hope of. Amen. They can tell you that you're going to die next week. But God gives you such a peace in your spirit. You say, oh. hey, praise God. You say, I'm going to die next week. God is the one who can restore life, bring healing, bring deliverance. Praise Come God. On. You say I'm going to be sent out of my house next week but God gives you a peace in your spirit to where you're like go over to God. It don't matter what comes against me. I know God is and God is there Come and on. God is going to bring me through. He's the God of breakthroughs. How many yes. of those he's a breakthrough God today? Amen. Amen. God. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. That peace that God said. He said it's the on. peace of God which passeth all understanding. It said what? It shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. Come on, that's powerful right there. Amen. That sounds like a God who cares. Come on. That don't sound like a God who's going to leave you out just to wet and dry like that. It sounds like God cares about every aspect of your life. It sounds like God wants to get you through. Now, I don't know, praise God, some of you may not be going through nothing this morning, and some of you may be on your last Praise God, string of holding on to where you're going to give up. But I've got news for you this morning. It's time for your breakthrough in Come Jesus' on. name. Hallelujah. God has brought me here today yes. to tell you that God, hallelujah, has a breakthrough Come for on. you today. And today, it's time for your breakthrough. That's my title of my message. It's time for your breakthrough Come amen on. to God. But supernaturally in my spirit, I feel God is breaking chains today. Oh, amen to God. Hallelujah. I feel God is bringing deliverance. Hallelujah. You said, brother, like there's nothing physically wrong with me. Yeah, but you may be going through a mental battle, praise God, that nobody else understands but you and God. And I'm telling you today, it is time for your breakthrough yes. in the name of Jesus. Because Amen. I tell you, these scriptures I just read here in Philippians 4, 6, and 7 is a God who cares about you. It's a God who says, hey, breakthrough is yours because of what I did at the cross. Oh, oh I don't think nobody wants to help me preach this today. Oh. Breakthrough is yours today. Yeah. Hallelujah. All you got to do, amen to God, is accept it. Hallelujah. It's time for your breakthrough, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, today for your word, for the power of your word, for the anointing of your word that breaks the yoke of bondage. Lord, I thank you for that, that you are the burden remover. Hallelujah. The yoke destroyer. You are God. Hallelujah. And there's none other besides you. You are the one who made all things. Hallelujah. You are a deliverer, Lord God. You are a breakthrough, God. And we give you praise for that today. Father, I pray you would hide me behind the cross today. Hide me behind the blood of Jesus. I pray as your word goes out here at VOTL, goes out towards Facebook and YouTube and through the VOTL radio and whatever avenue, dear God. Lord, you promised your word would not return void. And we're standing on that believing it will come to pass in Jesus' precious name. And the church said, Amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. It is time for your breakthrough today. Amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Some people would say, Hallelujah. I've heard Christians say this over the years, Brother Billy. If God is so good to us all, why don't He, praise God, not bless the unrighteous and just bless those that serve Him? Well, no. the, let me give you a scripture in Matthew 5.45. It says, That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for He maketh His Son to rise on the evil and the good, sendeth rain on the just, and the unjust. Now, our carnal minds can't comprehend that because we think, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever thought this before, but we think, why would God bless somebody who's living like a devil, Come on. somebody who's living unholy, who's not obeying the Word of God, why would God do that? And then we live for God and we walk and serve Him and do what we're supposed to do, and we don't see that many blessings flowing. Well, let me tell you something, praise God. Theirs is just for a season, amen to God. See, that shows you how good God is. He's still good to those who do wrong and those who do good, amen? See, God is a merciful, loving God. God cares about the lost as much as He does the saved. But I'll tell you, we've got a better 
place because, see, we're locked in, amen, to God. See, God will bless us, take care of us, meet our need. And see, He's got a plan in motion, amen, to God. Oh. Hallelujah. We may not understand it now while we're going through these things. But God says down the road, I did this, praise God, I allowed it to happen so it could make you more like me. So it could bring you patience Come that on. you prayed for. So it could bring you faith, amen, to God, where you were lacking. So it can bring you into seeking my face more, reading my word more. Hallelujah, do what I've called you to do. Because sometimes God will call us into something and we think we've arrived. Come on. But in all actuality, we got to go through a process, a growth, if you will, that, praise God, we don't like in the carnal. But the spiritual man, we're on that potter's wheel. How many's ever seen them make that Come vessel? On, yeah. And it takes them a while because they got to mold it. They'll get it up looking good, and then they'll have to knock it back down and reform it again. Yeah. But at the end, after it gets all hardened and everything, and they bring it out and they set it there. Hallelujah, and it's all fixed up. You see the perfect work that God has done. Hallelujah, Come there on. was a prophet. Excuse me, there was a process there. But God, hallelujah, He has a plan for it. And that's what I'm telling you today. Hallelujah. You say, Brother Mike, my breakthrough hasn't come. My prayers hasn't been answered. Because God has a process. And He's working things out. All things work together for the good to those who are loved the Lord. Lord. And are called according to His purpose. Romans 8, 28 declares, amen to God. And I'm telling you, we've been through this ourselves. Me and Lori has and Hunter. Praise God. And we couldn't see how things were going to work out. Hallelujah. When my wife got on there and she preached that word amen to God out of Jeremiah talking about I know the plans I have for you I know the thoughts I think towards you hallelujah we couldn't see that and still there's some things we can't see but I know in my spirit praise God that God is and he's going to work it out because in the long run I see the finished work that God has set up amen to God and he takes you from one place to another. Don't yes. you think the people in the Old Testament, when he asked Abraham and all of them to get up and move out of the land and go forth, they didn't like change, did they? That's right. no. But I tell you, when they got up and they said, we don't care what our flesh says. We don't care what the circumstance says. We're going to go on because the Lord our God is good. No. Amen. Yes. The Lord our God has our best interest at heart and he's going to bring us to a breakthrough. Amen. Yes. Oh, oh, you don't hear me today. Hallelujah. Can I throw some more out your way? Yeah. I want to talk about Moses for a minute. Mm -hmm. Moses, we see where he was come from. He started out being a bad guy. Amen? He was a bad Well, let me go back to where he was born. He was put in a basket and sitting down a river. Yeah. Well, we could have had that bad run of luck. Amen to God. Our parents took us and threw us in a basket. Probably no Easter basket. Amen to God. That was multicolored. <laughs> Amen? They just said, hey, we're going to send you down the river. But somebody found him. Come on. Thank God for somebody finding you. Amen to God. May not be the person you want, but Amen. God always sends somebody to find you. Hallelujah. I still remember Jesus said he left the 99 righteous to go after the one little lost lamb. Come Amen. On. Yeah. See, he has a purpose for that lost lamb. And he had a purpose for Moses because he was going to use Moses to be a deliverer, oh. praise God, to the children of Israel, oh, amen yeah. to God. So, and we, we've read the story where he went through the battle with Pharaoh. Pharaoh was stubborn as an old mule, amen to God. But God brought him up to the edge of the Red Sea, amen oh. to God. And the people said, we've got this far. We've been delivered out of the hand of Pharaoh. We've been delivered from that Egyptian bondage, which is a type of the flesh, amen oh. to God. And they were standing at the Red Sea, and hallelujah, they started complaining and murmuring. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, don't yeah. you think if God brought you this far that He's not going to take you to a place yeah. to where He's going to say, okay, I'm done with you, it's over. See, God had a breakthrough plan in motion. Glory, he shut up all the time. It's a breakthrough plan in motion, amen. And He got them up there, Brother Solis. And they're like, what now? Here comes Pharaoh and here comes his army. Come How many knows that the devil will aggravate you and torment you? He'll yeah. be like Pharaoh and his army. And he'll be coming up the way saying, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get on. you. You'll never Come make on. it. You'll never survive. Yeah. That ministry's going under. That word God gave you ain't no good. But I'm telling you, praise God, Moses said, and I believe the Holy Ghost spoke through him. He said, I want you to stand still and see the salvation yeah. of God. Come oh, on. you don't hear me today. Our God is a breakthrough God. I don't know who this is for today, but our God is a breakthrough God. And when
when he said stand still and see the salvation of God that Red Sea opened up I mean it opened wide up amen to God and they walked on through y'all know the story praise God there was a deliverance that day there was a breakthrough that day God brought victory to the camp amen to God and set the children of Israel free amen to God and that's what he wants to do for you today he's telling you today you're standing at the edge of your Red Sea you're standing at the edge of your to the end of your tomorrow but God is Jesus said I am the hallelujah to the Lamb of God he said he's the same yesterday today and forever and praise God I'm telling you now breakthrough is here breakthrough's coming and you've got your breakthrough somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah praise God is this all right today can I preach oh, like this yeah, that's good I gotta preach again at two, but amen to God. God will give my voice back. Yeah. That's all right. I'm excited. Amen. Yeah. We're gonna go down. We're going down swinging. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a breakthrough God. Mm -hmm. But what I don't understand in this church, and I've asked the same questions, and I love to preach messages after I've been through them, been through the experience of them. That's the best type of messages you can preach. Amen, Lori. Ain't that right? Come on. She knows. Lord, I'll tell you how many times she's had to get up in my face spiritually and had to slap me around in the spiritual. Amen? Come on. I don't want nobody to think I get abused. <laughs> but God, I've seen God move on her in the last several months like never before. Mm -hmm. I tell you, God has spoke things through her to me that's had to literally slap me in the face. She's had to come back and say, Mike, you need to believe come on. and quit doubting. Yeah, I said it. I had those moments. I know people are going to say, oh, well, he, he, he said he doubted. Well, you do too. You just don't admit it. Mm -hmm. come on. I'd rather be honest about it than lie about it. Mm -hmm. Don't shout me down. Come on now. <clears throat> i got to get a tissue. I'm spitting everywhere. Y'all forgive me. Amen. But I don't understand, praise God, how we make Jesus the last resort instead of the first. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand. When we get bad news, we'll go to everybody else. Mm -hmm. We won't get down. If the doctor tells us we've got cancer, we won't get down and pray about it. We usually get our cell phones out or we get on Facebook and there's nothing wrong with posting your prayer request. Don't get me wrong. Praise God. Don't get me wrong about that. But I really think we ought to go to God first. Mm -hmm. And we ought to say, Lord, what is your will about this? And if we know His Word, we'll know His will. Amen? Come on. And we'll know that God's will is to deliver us and set us free. Hallelujah. Why some people don't get their healing all the time, I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. But God still is good. I'm yes. like Job today. Yet though He slay me, Yet will I still trust Him. Come on. I want to. I want to stay in that mindset. Yo, that He slay me. I will still trust You, God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I want to be like Paul in Acts twenty twenty four, where he says, "I want none of these things to move me." Come on. I, I praise yeah. God. No matter what I see what in the carnal, spiritually, I can walk up and say, "Praise God. God <laughs> is Hallelujah to God. God is a good God. No matter what they tell you." I remember several years back, and I'm not a big Rod Parsley person, so don't misunderstand me, but I remember a testimony he gave back in 1995 or 96. And we ought to pray for those TV preachers. They need deliverance. Really? Come on. He was talking about his youngest son. They diagnosed him with a disease that said he wouldn't have... You remember that, Brother Billy? Yeah. I forget what the disease was called, but... They diagnosed him, and I remember Brother Parsley was, he, he said, I wasn't going to accept what the doctor said. Because he, he said the Word of God, God, God had done so much already in his life that all he had was the Word of God. And, yeah. and the doctors told him, they said, well, you'll have to put him in a mental institution because he won't have no, no sense, he won't have no knowledge, he's just going to be useless, you might as well just get rid of him. And I remember Brother Parsley said he, he got his boy up, and he was walking in the parking lot of that doctor's office. 
And he said, my hope is built on nothing less than Come Jesus' on. blood and his righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I'm not going to listen to what the devil tells me. He said, but I'm going to hang on to what you've told me, God. Hallelujah. You've given me this son. And therefore, you've given me a promise that he would grow up and minister the word. So therefore, I'm not going to let the devil take him away. And then later on down the road, we found out that God moved in and healed him. Praise God. See, God is a breakthrough Come God. On. Amen. I say that you say, well, Brother Mike, that's been nearly 20 years ago. But don't you think God can't do it? Come Sister on. Nancy, praise God, just here recently. See what God has done for her? Took care of those tumors. Come on. And this hernia, this, this is a thing. Hallelujah. Sister Nancy, praise God. I don't know if you can hear me or not. But this hernia thing is going to go in Jesus' name. Amen. We call it done now by the blood the of the Lamb. Yes. We speak the word of healing right now. That oh, this thing is going to curse up and die in Jesus' name. name I'll go in front of this camera right here in case she watches it later. That hernia is going to dry up, curse up and die. Amen to God. We call it dead in Jesus' name. Because God has called you and Brother Bill to preach the gospel. To take the word out to the lost. He's done too much for you to let you go now. Our God is a breakthrough God. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, the times we have the most problems is the times we need to seek His face more. Amen? Yeah. Come on. But people, for some reason, but at least they get this thing backwards and they go, when everything's going good, well, let's just walk away from the Savior. Yeah, that's let's, right. not, let's not read oh, the Bible that much because you, there's money in the bank. Mm -hmm. we, we just yeah. put it down. Let's just put it down for a while. Mm -hmm. Don't need no help. The washer and dryer's fine. The car's running good. Oh, yeah. So we, we don't need to pray that extra 15 minutes, Lord. Yeah. Come on. We, we, we don't need to call and check on nobody because, praise God, we got the new iPhone. Come so on. we need to fiddle, fiddle around with it. And, and, and when things are okay, we start walking away from the Savior. You, you see Come what on. I'm saying? We walking away from our breakthrough, from our deliverance. Yeah. We're walking away from the on. one. Praise God who said, if you stay with me, yeah. I'll keep you under the shadow of my yeah. wings. Oh, I'll you, keep Jesus. you under my hedge of protection. Yeah. And the devil won't bother you. Right. The devil can't go through me That's because he's right. defeated. Amen, on. God. I've drawn a bloodline around yeah. you. Come and on. Satan cannot get yeah. past it. Amen. Oh, yeah. you don't hear me today. Amen. See, that's the kind of God we serve, but we get this mindset where we just kind of, I'm going to walk away. Come on. I'll be back to you when I need you, Lord. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Amen. Now, Lord, you know, when I'm behind on my bills, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. That's the truth. Or, or when we get a pain in our body. Mm -hmm. We're fine. Boy, we we kind of slack out of church a little bit to go play baseball. Come on. Or, or, or go out and enjoy the sunshine. Or and There's nothing wrong with that. But you need to be in the house of God when services are going on. But when we feel good, we just kind of... I love you, Lord. Come on. See you later. Yeah. Oh, I got a backache. Oh! Y'all need to lay hands on me. Amen. You need to anoint me with the oil. Ooh, ooh. You know I'm telling the truth. Amen. Oh. Instead, we need to be consistent with Jesus. Yeah. Good or bad. Come on. Blessing or cursing. Mm -hmm. yes. When it's flooding us out or when it's sunshine, Come on. you're still Lord. Oh, you're yeah. still good. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You're still God. Come on now. See, God wants us to appreciate the good and the bad because He's still with us. Amen. I'm glad that Amen. Brother Billy, he don't take a day. And let me tell you something about Brother Billy. And, and I'm not boasting him up or anything, but he knows I love him. And he knows how much I respect him and appreciate his friendship. He's one of my best friends in this world. Amen to God. I don't have many. This is about how many I have in this life. Amen to God. He's one of them. Besides my wife, and Jesus is always number one, of course. But I tell you, Brother Billy's been going through some hell and high water with his back. He's been going through some things with feeling sick. But I tell you, he's never failed, praise God, to write something on Facebook about the Lord. He's never failed to text me back when I write him. He's never failed, praise God. He always stays consistent in the good and in the bad. Help me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. He has, brother, and he is. 
And see, praise God, that's the way we got to be. I know we go through things. But see, the Lord's still looking for a few good men and women. Come on. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Come on. Can I shout this? I thought I would have three and a half people say amen. Oh, Come on, amen. Now. And I said half because of you. Amen. That's Hallelujah. Good. I'm telling you today, church, we serve a mighty good God. And I think we just don't realize how good He is. Come on. And I think I admire that about you, brother, your dedication for Jesus. I admire everybody in this place. I love y'all. Y'all my family, praise God. Come on. Brother Billy's my brother from another mother, amen to God. We twins, amen to God. Oh See, I got a beard like Brother Billy, amen? <laughs> I get me some, some I ain't going to say why because he's not old. He's only, what are you? I'm old. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. <laughs> Brother Billy is not that old, amen. Still got fire line battles to keep going through, amen. But God is good, though. And we don't need to put him, put him second best. We need to keep Him first. Yes. Let me give you a few things, and then we're going to be done. And we can go. Amen to God. I won't keep you long. I know y'all saying, well, praise God. We had, had seen him in a few months. And, woo, this is long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. How to unlock your breakthrough. Well, one, we need to call on God. Amen? Yeah. Come on, that's good. And I, I just don't want to mean on salvation. You call on God all the time. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Come on. It just wasn't specific yeah, on saying. repeating a sinner's prayer. <laughs> No. It says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Come Mike on. Hesley, you call upon the name of the Lord. Billy Douglas, you call on the name Come of the Lord. Lori Hesley, you call on the name of the Lord. Celise Butler, Rodney Howe, everybody. Come whosoever on. shall call upon the name of the Lord yes. shall be saved. Amen to God. Call upon Him. Yes. Don't let the mountain grow so big to where it blocks you from Him and God. And you know what that mountain is? Like I said a while ago, when you walk away. Come on. Because the further you walk away, the bigger the mountain gets. Mm. Amen. And a lot of times we make mountains out of molehills over nothing. Amen. Come on. God is good to us. He loves us. Amen to God. He's wanting us to stay consistent in His Word. He wants us to pray. He wants us to seek Him like never before because we are in the days in which, praise God, Jesus is coming back soon. Amen to God. Time is running out. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 5, verses 2 and 3, Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. It's time to look up because of who you are in Christ. Amen. You're a victorious believer. You're a child of the Most High God. Amen. You're Amen. blessed going in. You're blessed going out. You're the head, not the tail. Going over, not under. Praise God. You are a breakthrough. Amen to God. God's giving you a breakthrough. Amen to God. And you're walking in it. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How the Bible says in James 4, 2 at the end of it, it says, how, well, let me read the whole thing. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot attain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Mm -hmm. Come on. Call on God. Amen. Yeah. You want to know, you want to get deeper understanding of the Word? Call on God. You don't need to go sit five years in a seminary to learn the Word. The Holy Ghost can teach you the Word. He Come is on. the Word. Amen. Amen. I mean, come on, what better person do you want to teach you the Word than the one who is the Word, who wrote the Word, who spoke the Word? Jesus, amen? amen. Woo! Hallelujah. That blew out a bunch of yes. theology. Come on. Amen. Amen. I had a, a brother send me a, a, a text message. I sent it to Brother Billy. And it said if... Uh, <laughs> I got tickled at it. I thought, well... I appreciate it thinking that much of me, but it's only God that can do that. But he sent me a text message and said, Joel Osteen preaches to 5,000 or more people in a week. <laughs> and he said, if Joel Osteen wanted to go on a, a week vacation and hire evangelist Mike Elstein to come and preach for him, he said, well, at the end of that week, he said he thinks there would be maybe 100 people there that were saved. <laughs> and I thought, well, that, that was nice and everything, but... You know, praise God. That's probably the truth, though, because I, I I told him, I said, there's probably less than that. Amen to God there, because they're being, their flesh is being told what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Amen to God. I could get a crowd all day long if I tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. 
If I tell you, praise God, you're a good person, and if you think positive, you'll get a parking spot at Walmart. Come on. And if you go buy my new book, I'm serious. That's what they tell them. Yeah. If you think positive, there will spot will come open. I've heard Joel Osteen say that. Well, if you just have a kindness about you. That's more like psychology to me than it does the Word of God. That's what it is. Let me try to soothe you over, and on top of that, let me slip you in a little pill too, amen to God. Give you some watered-down Word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the bomb of Gilead that can change you and heal you, amen to God, and set you free. But I tell you today, church, God has got your breakthrough in motion right now, oh. and it's for you today, amen? Yeah. You've got to call upon Him. We've got to ask. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, because if you ask, you'll receive. If you seek, you'll find. If you knock, come on. The door will be open. Amen. He promised that, amen. Number two, believe in God. Possessing the promise is the great battle of faith, amen. Come when on. you're given a word from God, there's going to be hell coming at you, amen. Yeah. Brother Billy, over the last several weeks and months, has been preaching some word. I'll tell you, hallelujah. Man, Brother Sleason, he was talking about that a minute ago, man. It's powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. But of course, when God gives you a word like that, there's going to be opposition. Mm -hmm. Nothing is given to us from the Lord that we just walk through with smooth sailing. There's always mm -hmm. going to be feathers ruffled. It's going to be, you know how you, you make your bed, that it's, everything's all nice, there's no wrinkles in it. It's going to get messed up. Somebody's going to get mad and get offended. Well, get over it. Oh. Like I said, go down to Lowe's, buy you a ladder, and get over it. Amen to oh, God. Man. Hallelujah. You need to grow up. You've been serving Jesus 20 plus years, and you're going to act like a two-year-old. Oh. Hallelujah. I tell them like that, Hunter's got more spiritual maturity than most of them people, the way they act. Come on, now. Come on. Keep pressing on, brother. Hallelujah. You know we all standing behind you, praise God. The devil is a liar and he's defeated. And that's what we're going to keep doing. Jesus said in Matthew 17, 20, yes. Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. That's the words of the Savior right there. Amen. Praise God. He's telling you today, believe in His Word. Believe in what He tells you. Amen. Faith is not faith until it's tested, amen, to God. How many knows that's true? I can attest to that. Whew. Man, 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 Lord, could, we could get up here and give you an all-day testimony service what's been going on just like each and every one of you can, amen? But God is a God of breakthrough, amen? Hebrews 11, 6 said, Without faith it's impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is. How many believes He is, Amen? And that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Amen? Come on. You know that? He promised He would reward you if you sought after it. Man, Come on. what kind of God we serve? A good God. Amen? Amen? We believe Him and then He says, when you seek Me, I'm going to be a rewarder to you to seek Me. Man, we got the best of the trade in all this. Come on. We gave our sins and our sorrows and our un nasty, filthy, unrighteous our rags over to Him. And for that, He gave us, praise God, cleanness. Amen to God. We've been washed in the blood and we're made as white as snow. Amen to Come God. On. He's given us benefits. Praise God. We're card-carrying Christians. Amen to God. All the benefits He's promised us. Man, we are blessed. Amen to God. Amen. Better than any job can give you. Praise God. We got salvation. We got healing. We got deliverance. We got victory. Amen to God. We got all oh, glory to God. Now. We got the blood of Jesus. Yeah. We got the promise of the baptism of the Holy Ghost being sealed by that baptism. Amen. Oh. We got promise that Jesus said, I go and build a place for you. That where I am there, you may be also. Praise God. We got that promise. Amen to God. That's better than 401k, oh. 403b. Oh. That's better than all the stocks and bonds. That's a yeah. guaranteed thing. Hallelujah. And if you invest in the kingdom, when you tithe and offer and oh. put those seeds in the kingdom, God's going to hold it back up there and you're going to be blessed for all eternity. Oh. Go over to God. Every soul you went for Jesus, amen to God. Get to take those crowns and cast them at His feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, I'm excited about it. Walk on streets of gold. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Woo! Go over to God. Get to walk by with Jesus. Amen. Come on. I know we're all going to be the same, but I'll tell you, hallelujah, 
When I see Jesus, I pray to God. Woo! It's going to be worth every heartache I've been oh. through. Every hard mile I've traveled. Amen Hallelujah. to God. Every time I've wanted to give up and I kept pressing on. Hallelujah. It's going to be worth it. Mom, it's going to be so worth it. Praise God. Oh. When we lay our eyes on the Savior. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Whether we go by the way of the grave. Woo! Or whether Hallelujah. we go by the rapture. Woo! Praise God. It's going to be worth it. Oh, glory. I can't get help but get excited in this place. Come on. Praise God. That's why I am the way I am. Because I'm sold out to Jesus. Amen. I love Him so much. Y'all know my testimony seven years ago. They didn't want, They said I wasn't going to make it. But I'll tell you seven years later. Ha, 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 devil. Oh. God is a God of breakthrough. Amen to God. Hallelujah. You don't see my Kessel anymore. I'm going to borrow that song, Lord. You see grace. Amen to God. Grace magnified. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Amen to God. Oh. God has blessed me. He has sustained me. He's promised me I would preach more than I ever had before. He said I'm going to raise you back up to take the gospel out. Hallelujah, devil. Ha ha. You defeated seven years later. Go away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. I've been blessed with a beautiful wife. Blessed with a son. Give me five, baby. Hallelujah. God is good. God, I've been blessed with a church family here. Praise God. Been blessed with brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a God of breakthrough. I tell you, I'm walking in breakthrough. You can walk in breakthrough. All you got to do is just stay. Come on, stand to your feet with me and say, I'm possessing it. The land is mine. I'm overtaking it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Woo. I don't know if this has helped anybody today, but my goodness, I tell you, God is a God of breakthrough. Let me give you one, one or two more scriptures, and then we're done. Okay? Is that all right? Can I can I give you a couple more scriptures? Come on. Jeremiah, chapter seventeen. Woo! Chapter seventeen, verses seven, and it says this: "Blessed is the man." that trusteth in the Lord oh and whose hope the Lord is. is. Yeah. Blessed is the man is. Oh that trusteth in the Lord. Oh, you don't hear me today. You are blessed today if you trust in Jesus. You are blessed if you're a man. You are blessed if you're a woman. If you're a oh. child who trusts in Jesus and whose hope is the Lord. Amen? Because yes. Amen. that's your only hope. Obamacare is not your hope. Come on. Raising the, the minimum wage is not your hope. That's the truth. He is our hope. Amen. Social security is not your hope. Jesus is your hope. Come on. Praise God. I'm telling you today, He is the God of breakthrough. Praise God. He is the God that wants to bring you out. For verse 8, let me read this. And then we're done. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters. Woo! Come on now. Hallelujah. Y'all remember that song? And that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when the heat cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Yeah. When you trust in the Lord, see what God said? Come he will on. do. He will bless you. You're going to be like a tree planted by the waters. You shall not be moved. Amen. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor, look at somebody that you don't normally look at, and say, I'm getting my breakthrough. I'm getting my breakthrough. You're getting your breakthrough. Oh, yeah. Because our God is a God of breakthrough. Amen. It's time for your breakthrough. Yes, it is. Devil, you a liar. Come on. Come on, speak it out, church. Say, Devil, you a liar. Devil's a liar. Hallelujah. And you defeated. Yes. When Jesus uttered those words at Calvary. It is finished. That was done. Come on. It's done. Yeah. It's through. He conquered death, hell, and the grave. Amen to God. Come on. No, he didn't go to hell either. Amen to God. Come on. He conquered it all. Didn't need to go to hell. Why would he need yeah, to go to it hell? Finished. It was done at the cross. Yes. Amen. It was done at the cross. Amen. Yeah. You don't need he to. Just... He don't need to be re-crucified again. It's done. Because when Jesus does it one time, it's done. Yes. When he says you got your breakthrough, it's done. Hey, man. Woo! Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you today for your word. Thank you, Lord God, for... Lord, just how good you are. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. We fail to thank you all the times mm -hmm. for just how good you are, for the for the little things, the big mm -hmm. things, all Amen. things. Lord, you've blessed us today with air to breathe. Oh, you've blessed Lord, us with sunshine, Lord, when it could be snowing and icy. You've blessed us, Lord, with a place to come to assemble ourselves to lift up your holy name. You've blessed each one of us with a measure of faith, Lord. You've given us salvation. You've filled us with your spirit. You've blessed us in so many ways, Lord, and we thank you. And you still promised you would continue, excuse me, to take care of us and bless us and bring us through. Father, as we depart today, I pray in Jesus' name, you would guide us safely, keep us safe, Lord, on these highways and hedges till we get back home. Let us take this word, Lord God, and pass it out to those around us, Lord God. Let us just speak your word, Lord God. Take your word and know that you are a good God. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to pray for those out there before we dismiss. I want y'all to stretch your hands and join your faith with me, if you will. I get, my, I feel in my spirit that there's somebody out there right now. You're on the verge of giving up completely. I feel in my spirit right now there is a somebody out there who's wanting to commit suicide and get get over. Let me tell you something right now. God is the author of life. The devil would seek and kill you and try to destroy you. But God wants you to live a blessed life. He wants you to walk in the fullness of Him. Amen to God. God is a good God. He wants you happy and not sad. Right now I come against that in Jesus' precious name. I bind that spirit right now. It's suicidal spirit. I command it to be gone in Jesus' name. And I speak the words of life. Amen to God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Father, I pray in Jesus' name right now. <coughs> Excuse me. You would touch that individual, those people who are going through things. Lord God, where they want to give up right now. I pray, God, you would renew them, Lord God. Bring them back to the foot of the cross. Give them that peace, Lord, that we spoke about earlier, the pass of all understanding. Break these chains off their minds and their lives, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we declare it to be done, Lord God. And we speak this breakthrough in Jesus' name that it's done. Amen and amen. I want to hear your testimony. I want you to let either me or Brother Billy or somebody know. Let us know what God has done for you. What He, Amen to God, has got already planned for you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, grab somebody's neck and hug them. Tell them you love them. If you're mad at somebody, make it right before you walk out the door so, so a boulder don't fall on your head. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Love ye one another. Praise God. Hallelujah.